In this video, we'll model this house by importing an AutoCAD plan and modeling that. So let's delete this and import the plan. Click File, Import. Make sure that this is on AutoCAD files and navigate to the file. And before you import it, click on Options and check these two boxes. Click OK and Import. And there it is. And it should be the correct scale, but you can check it by clicking the tape measure on the endpoints. And it's 22 feet wide, which is what it's supposed to be. Note that it comes in as a component. I'm going to explode it. And now I don't need all these two-dimensional items. So I'm going to erase them. You don't have to have AutoCAD installed on your computer to import a plan in SketchUp, but again, it's just useful so that you can do all your cleanup in AutoCAD instead of having to do it here. All right, so now I need to make a face. So I'll click the rectangle tool on here. And I've got a face on everything except for the walls. So I'm going to have to go back and individually put faces on them. You never know when you import an AutoCAD plan how well that this is going to work. Now I just tried making a face and couldn't and it's because this line is preventing it. So I'll try again. Okay, now let's see what I can push pull up. I'll push pull that up nine feet and then inference match all the other walls to it. Now I'll erase all the lines that I don't need because they break up faces and erasing lines you don't need just helps keep the model clean. Looks like I'm missing some parts here, and let's heal that by doing this. That went missing probably when I erased one of the one of those lines. Let's bring up the floor now. I'm going to push pull it up five inches and I've got a floor slab. Now I need door heads. So I'm going to take the tape measure and I'm going to draw a guideline that's seven feet high to place the head at. And then I'll use the three-point rectangle to draw the head and push pull it over. I'll do it on the rest of them.
I'll delete the guides. Get rid of a few more lines. And I think I'll draw a step right there. To keep the model neat, the normals, that is the front, should face out and face up. So I'm going to click on all the faces where they're flipped and then reverse them. Sure are a lot of these lines to erase. Now I'm going to group this whole thing. And then put a roof on top. With Move and the Alt key, I can do something like this. Triple click, make a group, and that's useful for if I'm working on developing it inside, I can put the roof on its own layer like this. and then turn it on and off as needed. And there you have it.